You have no idea about how to act during the first date with a woman? You usually blow up everything without even know the reason? Listen carefully to my secrets. I advise you how to act during the first date with a girl. To be successful, you have to do the right moves before, during and after the date. Otherwise, you can mess up things because the girl is valuating your behaves all the time. Don't be scared about it. In fact, with those eight secrets, you can make her like you. Let's start with some premises, because I want you to know that girls aren't alien creatures. Listen, don't be scared. Ladies aren't superior creatures, and you have to understand that they can be emotional and unsecure exactly like you. Keep listening till the very end and make your date successfully. Number one, be confident. Women like to meet determined and confident man. They like to see that you're able to manage any situation. So if you act unsecure before, during and after the date, you can stay sure that she will reject you. The first trick is to be confident about yourself. Don't focus over your leaks and instead act a bit cocky. Can sound weird, but it helps you to stay more confident. It means that you don't have to be scared about giving an answer, an opinion or taking a choice. Starting from the chat in your phone. Avoid to be emotional even before to meet her. Never say to her that you are happy, emotional or excited to meet her. She will already know to have you in her control. Instead, you can say that you are curious about to meet her. She will feel more observed and under your examination. Number two, take charge of choices. While she asks you where to go, you must give a secure answer. Don't act unsecure like you don't even know where and when to meet. You will look like a pathetic and unsecure man. Instead, give her a precise information like, we can meet at that place at that hour. It's fine for you. Don't ask her where she wants to go. Instead, say like, I bring you in that place. Can be for a walk, for a coffee, for eating, etc. She will appreciate the fact that you know what to do. Number three, don't reveal date plans. You can have already made a detailed plan about the day in your mind, but never do the mistake to reveal her your plans in advance. If she asks you, only answer about the present plan. Don't give her information about the coming plans. Instead, can say like, now we go to eat an ice cream, then we see what to do. Keep every step for the moment like you are taking last moment choices. She will enjoy it so much and feel the excitement to discover what's coming next. Number four, be strong and dominant. How to be strong and dominant during a date. It's easy, listen to me. To look dominant and strong, you don't need muscles, but your brain. You need to take charge of choice. Look secure and use the correct body language. Eye contact is very important, it's fundamental. In the nature, while two animals face themselves for a fight, they stare into their eyes. The dominant one is able to keep the eye contact longer, while the submissive will lower the head in sign of weakness. That kind of behavior is valid as well for human beings. While you talk with the lady, never lower your eyes first, especially in the first moments. Otherwise, she will perceive you as weak don't be scared to watch in her eyes. Keep a long eye contact. If you fold down your head while she looks at you, she will immediately feel your weakness. It doesn't mean that you have to stare her eyes like a fool all the time. But especially in the first moment, let her lower the head first. If she looks away first, it's a subtle sign that she recognizes your confidence. Remember, this is not about intimidating or making someone feel uncomfortable. It's about communicating your confidence and assertiveness through subtle nonverbal cues. Number five, be a true gentleman. The perfect blend of strength and chivalry is irresistible. Being a gentleman isn't about outdated customs, but about demonstrating respect and consideration. Small gestures make a big impact. Hold doors open for her, pull out her chair at the restaurant, let her order first. But remember, always maintain eye contact while doing those things. You're not a servant but a confident man who respects and values her. Traditional manners aren't just about courtesy, they stimulate emotional responses and make her feel valued and cared for. Be the strong, considerate gentleman that every woman appreciates. Number six, master the art of conversation. In your interactions with her, always strive to be a bit mysterious. Never reveal too much information at once. If she asks a question, be brief and concise, yet intriguing. Remember, the aim is to keep her interest piqued. If you lay all your cards on the table in one go, she may quickly lose interest. Instead, reveal small details about yourself each time. This not only keeps the conversation flowing, but also adds a layer of intrigue. But here's the real trick. Let her do most of the talking. 
Ask her questions about her life, her interests, her dreams. Dig deeper into her replies, showing her that you're genuinely interested in what she has to say. For instance, if you ask her about her job, don't stop at her initial answer. Probe deeper. Why did she choose this profession? Was it a conscious choice or a happy accident? But remember, never get too personal with your questions. You want to pique her interest, not make her uncomfortable. By maintaining a certain level of mystery about yourself, you're encouraging her to spend more time with you, to know more about you. This keeps her engaged, excited, and most importantly, interested in you. This is the art of conversation, and mastering it is key to winning her over. Number seven, pick peaceful places. After breaking the ice and spending some time with her in a bustling, noisy environment, such as a coffee shop or restaurant, it's time to shift gears. Transition to a quieter, more serene setting. This could be a leisurely stroll in the park, a walk along the seaside, or any place where there are fewer people, and a more relaxed atmosphere. This change of scenery will help shift her focus more towards you. It will also help foster a sense of intimacy, making the date feel more personal. Find a cozy spot to sit and continue the conversation, but remember, don't force anything. Let the conversation and the connection develop naturally. This peaceful setting is not just about the location, but about creating an environment where you both can truly connect, away from the hustle and bustle of the everyday world. This is your chance to deepen the bond between you and to let her see that you're someone who values quality time and meaningful interactions. Number eight, mastering the end game. Now that we've covered how to conduct yourself during the date, it's time to tackle the tricky part, ending the date. Knowing when and how to end a date can mean the difference between leaving a lasting impression and falling flat. Remember, the first date doesn't have to be a marathon. A shorter, well-executed date is far more effective than a lengthy, aimless one. If you sense that the conversation is dwindling or that you're running out of ideas or budget, it might be time to call it a night. Avoid ending the date on an awkward note. If the chemistry is there and the moment feels right, a gentle kiss could be the perfect end note. However, if there's any doubt, it's better to hold off. Let her wonder why you didn't kiss her. This will keep her thinking about you and the wonderful time you spent together, increasing the chances of a second date. But remember, always end the date on a positive note. Thank her for the wonderful time and express your interest and curiosity in seeing her again. This leaves a door open for future possibilities, leaving her with the desire for the next meeting. Next advice will assure you will have it. While you leave, act like you are going away called by your duty. Like, I'm pleased to spend time with you, but now I have to go because I have to deal with some work. After mastering the end game, it's vital to remember that your actions post-date are just as important as the impression you made during the date. Make her feel that you are a man on a mission, driven by duty, and your time is not only precious, but also in demand. This doesn't mean you should act distant or aloof. Rather, show her that while she is important, you have other responsibilities and commitments that also require your attention. This balance of care without desperation is key. Resist the urge to immediately text her after the date. This might come off as too eager or even desperate. Instead, leave her in anticipation. Let her be the one to reach out first. If she doesn't, don't panic. Wait till the day before. If you want, write her back. A man with a purpose that leave for duty don't have time for silly texting after the date. It will make the big difference between being an interesting date and one of the many simps. This subtle strategy will make her feel valued and will keep you on her mind. It will cost you effort, but trust me, it's the winning move. Feel free to share your experience in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.